Hey guys. Oh. So saying, do you want to know how to draw your car that much faster? Then stick around and I'll show you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got mail and a huge shout out to Rigid for sending us the 18 volt brushless leaf blower. Let's open up and take a look. Ooh. For what you're gonna get at the end of the day for the small box, not bad. So let's take it piece by piece. So we got the main attachment for the blower. In this case, this pack came with the battery charger and the, um, yeah, the charger unit. It does have two screw holes, which is nice, so it can be wall hung. Um, it is a hard connect, so it's not um, like a standard DC connection, so just be careful with it. We got the mighty tip, which is slick. We got tons of instructions. We got our battery instructions. We got the operator's manual and our registration warranty. This is actually really critical, guys. Um, definitely with your receipt, register it. Um, they do offer free parts, lifetime, service for life, etc. So definitely take advantage of it. I think it's 60 days, so I'll confirm that later. And of course the leaf blower manual as well. And then of course a beautiful brochure of their whole product line. So check it out, lots of information there. And if you're already part of the, the rigid family, again, batteries will interconnect between each other, which is you know a key um, to, the, to the assembly line here. So let's get to the best part. And there should be. And then don't forget our battery. Well, that's it. That's everything in the box, guys. So comparing the two, <laughs> the battery is almost as heavy as the unit. So just gives you guys an idea of, of, of general weight. There we go. There is, with the battery themselves, they do have an indicator. And if I click it, yeah, you can see I'm, I'm dead from the factory, which is fine. So I will charge this up and then we'll try out the unit and go from there. In the meantime, let's just assemble. There we go. And then our final tip. And that's it. Okay. Pretty slick. The other side, there is the turbo button, which we'll investigate. Quick overall, actually really decent in weight. And again, if we were to take the battery, so once you got the battery in line, it's a decent amount of weight, but the fact that it's cordless, it's just really slick. So there we go, that's basically it. Um, for length, it's give or take around 20 inches, you know, eight, 10 inches in height. Um, it is about 10 pounds, so again, very reasonable for what it is. But enough about that, let's go check it outside and take a look. All right, so guys, we're back outside and we've got the rigid 18 volt brushless leaf blower. So first off, why are we even talking about leaf blower and car washing? So before we do that, this is a great unit to basically clean your leaves off your deck, your backyard utilities, grass clippings. And I will show you that in a new video um, in probably most like in the fall when we've got the leaves back coming down. But today I'm gonna to show you the, the, the killer combination of basically washing your car and then tying it with a leaf blower and cleaning it. At the end of the day, after you've done your you've done your prep, you've done your wash, you've done your cleaning of it, we want to get that water off as quick as possible. Now, rather than letting it dry, if we let it dry, water spots will be everywhere, and you wasted your 
half an hour, hour, whatever it took you to basically clean that car. So yes, there is kind of those thick uh, mammoth drying aid towels that you can, after it's done, you can clean it up. But this, and we're gonna see how this unit performs. We're going to try and wipe away about 90% of that water and then follow up with the drying aid to basically give it the best possible clean um, that we physically can, okay? So a couple little features about the unit that we're gonna go over is, and I'll bring it up a little bit closer, we got our trigger here. Pretty straightforward. Now this is a great feature. This little control knob, as I pull it, you're gonna see the, the trigger start to depress and... So rather than me always holding the trigger, it's gonna do the job. And then the secret weapon we have is the mighty fine turbo. Okay, so once we're engaging, that's where we're gonna really pump out the 510 CFMs that this produces. And again, we're gonna see how that works after this gets washed. So one of the great benefits of having a powerful leaf blower for the job is we get water trapped in some, you know, notorious uh, pieces of a car. And it could be, it could be your vents, it could be your rims, you know, the area between your glass, especially in my personal uh, one that I can't stand is the water underneath the, the side mirrors. And you can do the best with your, your drying aids and that's wonderful, but the moment you move that car a foot to move it into the garage or you, have, you go for that cruise, water starts just pouring out of here. And you know, that's what, again, going back to the problem we talked about, that's where water spots are made and you know, then you have to go out and clean it. So if we can just do it once, there's a lot of benefit of using the leaf blower. So I'm gonna show you, let's wash out this beautiful machine and let's get going. So before we get started with the rigid leaf blower, let's talk about battery life and, and battery charging. It takes about 90 minutes from, from zero to 100% charge, and the unit lasts around 30 to 40 minutes um, going full steam. Now, if you do use that turbo function, which I personally love, you will notice your battery really decrease fast because of the extra power it's pulling from the battery. So just things that to take into account and, um, and just with your planning. So it may not be a bad idea to have a second battery just around just in case, but uh, I'll leave that to your call. Enough said, let's get, let's get this washed and let's check it out. <laughs> So we just rinsed it. Let's try it and see how it is. So like I said, I'm gonna fire it up here. Got most of the water off. And there's a couple more areas I just want to um, get with the leaf blower, but I want to talk to you about some of the detail areas, such as the door handles, the mirrors. Um, the rims and just any of these areas. I just want to make sure it's all clear because what ends up happening is you can already start and you see there's a water droplets and they start to fall down here. And like I said, those are the areas we definitely want to clean off before. Um, there's nothing worse, like I said, washing it and then you've got the water spots afterwards. So let's keep going. So with 
leaf blower, like I said, it, it knocked off about probably 90, 95% of the water. And then I just take my, my thick drying aid towel bringing over the spots where like i said just i didn't capture the leaf blower but like i said it does a phenomenal job the less touching i have to do with this the better and just that you know preventative you know scratches or wears or anything along with that line So conclusion guys, my thoughts on the rigid 18 volt, 510 CFM leaf blower. Like I said, this is great. It does not disappoint me in any way. I'm really curious to try this out with something like the Ryobi leaf blower where I think you're hitting around 700 CFMs and I know Ego and there's a couple other brands that really start to push it. But at a 510 CFM mark, you saw the water just bed, it beat it right off and um, it just got cleared up. Like I said, this does majority of the work you're not touching the car, and uh, then it's just a quick run down with the dryer afterwards. Um, phenomenal unit. The battery does the job. I probably can get probably a good two vehicles out of this in terms of drying before I completely deplete the battery. It just again, depends on the size of the vehicle, how much area, um, and so on. So one pro tip with um, how fast that we got the water off of this. It definitely plays a big role if you've got that ceramic coating or that wax coating or paint sealing coating, that plays a big role. If you're just drawing a vehicle that's never had any paint protection over it, you know, it, you're gonna be fighting a little bit more. But at the end of the day, you, as you clearly saw, this this moves the water, it gets it out of there. And, you know, my personal recommendation, it's, it's definitely a buy, you know, at the price point it is at. Um, you know, I think kind of just over 300 for um, the set. It's, it's definitely worth it. So. You know, um, other than that, I'm just going to leave with you guys some nice clean B-roll shots of the car and, and enjoy. We'll check it on the next one.